Hello, my name is Derek, but some people know me as Big Cat Derek, and that's because some of my really good friends are really big kitty cats. Like Melita here. Say hi, Melita. Oh, stretch. She's got a stretch. I work at this place called the Center for Animal Research and Education. We take care of a lot of different wild animals here, mostly big cats, like lions and tigers. Kate here is a tiger, and she is also very sleepy. Now I am going to be making a video for Mrs. Ruddock's preschool class out of Marshalltown, Iowa. Now Mrs. Ruddock's assistant, Ms. Bachman, emailed me and asked me if I would answer some questions from some of the students in Mrs. Ruddock's class. So that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be answering some of your questions, and I think it should be pretty fun. Now the first question is from Mrs. Ruddock, and she asks, how many pounds does a lion weigh? This is Noelle, and she is a girl lion. Yeah, she's bored with me. And up there is Mawali. Mawali's a boy lion. You notice the difference? He's got extra, focus, focus, there we go. He's got extra fur on his head. And that's called a mane. And only boy lions have that. Oh, stretchy Noel, stretchy Noel. Now girl lions, on average, weigh about three to 400 pounds. That's a lot of pounds. And boy lions, on average, can weigh from five to six hundred pounds. That's a lot of pounds! Okay, now most preschoolers are either four years old or five years old. And most four and five year olds weigh about forty pounds. That means that it would take ten preschoolers to weigh as much as one Noel, a girl lion, or 15 preschoolers to weigh as much as one Mawali, a boy lion. That's a lot of preschoolers. Now the next question comes from Jake, age four, and he asks, can all wild animals kill you if you get too close to them? <laughs> well, Jake, age four, no. Not all wild animals can kill you if you get too close to them. Wild animals come in all sorts of shapes and sizes. Some are very big, like the lions and tigers, and some are very small, like Bobby the bobcat over here. She's a little bit smaller. But here's the thing that you got to realize about wild animals. It's best to avoid them if you ever come across them. Even little bitty birds that want to go chirp, 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 okay? All wild animals, they can be really mean, they can bite, they can scratch, they can carry diseases that make you sick. So, if you see a wild animal, don't ever go and try and pet it, okay, Jake? Okay, this next question is from Kellen, age four, and Kellen asks, do those tigers at CARE eat people? No, they don't, Kellen, they don't eat people. And that's because they stay in these big fenced-in areas called enclosures. The tigers stay in, people stay out. It's to keep the tigers safe, it's to keep the people safe, and that's, I think, a pretty good idea, because I don't want to get eaten. Okay, the next question is from Marcy, age five, and she asks, Do you ride on the lion's backs, and do they bite hard? Well, Marcy, no, we don't ride on the lion's backs, and yes, they do bite very hard. Like, this is a toy that was inside the lion and tiger enclosures, and it's made of really, really thick plastic. It's not like a ball that you'd find over in gym class. So, yeah, you can see the holes on that. They do bite very hard, and that's one of the reasons we don't ride on their backs. The next question comes from Riley, age five. Why do you make the sounds to the cats? Snuffles and blub, 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 blub sounds. Well, that's how they talk. That's how they say hello, and a snuffle is this. <laughs> <laughs> and then I go oh, blah, 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 to the lions because that's what they like. It's just how they talk. It's how they say hello. That's it. Now the next question comes from Nathan, age four. And Nathan asks, which cat is a lion, which is a tiger? Well, Noel here is a lion. Noelle is brown and tan. 
looks kind of like this. She's a girl. And then Selena over here is a tiger. And tigers, they can have orange fur on the top with white fur on their tummies and black stripes all over their bodies. Or, or, ah, 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 hold on, hold on, ah, hold on, hold on, hold on, Nathan, hold on. They can also be white with black stripes all over like Bonnie is. Bonnie is white with black stripes. Pretty neat, huh? The next question comes from Tasha, age four, and she asks, why do the tigers come up to the fence? Well, most of the time it's simply because they want to say hi. Like, like kind of Polly. Papa. Hello. He says hi. The next question comes from Ashley, age five, and Ashley asks, Excuse me, I'm, I'm asking, I'm answering Ashley's question. Ashley asked, why were the tigers playing on the floor? That's pretty easy, it's because they like to play. It's just kind of like how you like to play with your friends or with your siblings or cousins or anything like that. They've got toys and they like to roll around, they like to run, they like to wrestle. It's just like people, they like to play, it's fun. The next question comes from Layton, age five. Do all tigers have stripes or do some have spots? Now all tigers have both stripes and spots. You can see that she has got stripes all up and down her body. But if you look real close, you can also see there are some really faint spots. And she's got some little bitty spots that are kind of like on her cheeks there. And if you look down at her feet, she's got spots down there. So tigers actually have both. Now the next question comes from Briar, age five. And Briar asks, why were the lions pretending to be cats, like rubbing on the fence? Well, Briar, that's because they are cats. Hi, boys. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, boom, boom. And sometimes that's just what they do. These guys are brothers. They also like to kind of bite on each other's heads. <laughs> Briar also asked, was that tiger gonna eat your eyeballs and the meat inside your body? <laughs> Briar, we work in teams. Whenever we're working around the cats, whenever we have to do anything like that, okay? We always make sure that we're watching over each other that we're friends, that we're teams, the people that work here at CARE so that the tigers don't eat our eyeballs or the meat inside of our bodies, okay? <laughs> That's a good question, though. Here's something really quick. Cassie, can you say hi? <laughs> can you say hi to Mrs. Ruddock's class? <laughs> she squeaked. She didn't squeak at the right spot. You squeaked. You interrupted me when I was talking. You gotta be, she's not a polite, she, this is a cougar, and she is not a polite cougar. She interrupts. Last question comes from Arasilus, age four. Hope I said that right. And Arasilus asks, why are the tigers in a park? Well, that's because the tigers don't really have anywhere else to go. They're kind of like orphans. Oh, Solano here. Look at those big claws. But here at CARE, we can give these guys a really nice home where they can just kind of hang out and they can be safe and they've got good food and they've got people around them that love them very much. So we kind of become their family. And that's why they're here in the park. All right, I had a really fun time answering all of your questions. Oh, this is Milo. Milo's a leopard. He's really good at climbing. That's why there's a roof on top of his enclosure. But all you folks in Mrs. Ruddock's class, I hope you had a good time watching the video. I hope you learned a lot of different things about animals, about big cats, and what we do here at the Center for Animal Research and Education. Thank you so much for sending me those questions. All right, bye-bye.